joined now by Julia Lee, uh, Bell Direct Equities Analyst there. Julia, I know you've been watching uh, those uh, the technical levels and now that we've closed above 4,800 points, technically what could that mean? Friday, it is a positive that we've managed to break past that 4,800 point barrier. In the next couple of sessions, we want that number to hold so that it is and it becomes solid support for the Australian share market. But of course, a wonderful day on our market today, the eighth consecutive day of gains. And over the last 10 weeks, we've seen nine weeks of gains for the Aussie share market. We also saw volumes coming back to, I guess, more normal levels, just under $4 billion worth of stock being traded. I think school holidays ends this week, so we should see some um, better volumes coming through for the market over the next few weeks. If we have a look at what's really helping the Australian market, one of the things is that we are seeing the US market at five-year highs, the S&P 500 at five-year highs. And if we have a look at earnings expectations, it is at the fourth quarter earnings season that we're in the middle of now. We'll show earnings per share growth of 2.6%. For the Aussie share market, we've surpassed 4,800 points. If we can uh, stay at these levels and stabilize, that would be a positive sign. And the next level of resistance is quite a big one for the Aussie market. The 50% retracement level, which of course signifies uh, the 50% level from the low of the market that we saw in 2009 at 3,120 points to the high of the market that we saw on the 1st of November 2007 is at 4,986 points. So that's a very strong resistance point. That's one that we're going to be watching closely. Today on the market, we were also helped along by the HSBC flash manufacturing numbers. They came in at a read of 51.9. So this is the highest reading that we've seen for these Chinese numbers in 24 months. Even though we did see some good numbers coming out of China, it wasn't really those growth areas like the materials or the energy space supporting our market. More the defensive space. We saw the banks doing well, the telecom sector did well, and the defense is very much in favor. But all in all, a pretty strong performance by the Aussie market, up by half a percent. That's despite the uh, the S&P futures being down most of the all of the Australian session. Um, but the stronger China numbers also helping. Shares up 23 percent at the close there to $2.67. They were higher than that though, up at $2.87 during trade today. But uh, certainly uh, one of the uh, the best performing shares on the market today. Uh, oh, certainly going by the All Lords. Let's have a look at uh, this with Julia Lee, Bell Direct. Julia, your thoughts on this stock and the way it was moving? I mean, it's, it's going to be quite expensive and there's still a lot of uncertainty about whether it can get um, this, uh, this oil and gas out of the ground. I just think that this was an absolutely ridiculous performance today. We saw Link Energy shares up by 23.6%. There was no news released by the company. There's been no real new news released by the actual company on its resources or the assets that it's hold. And in the last couple of sessions, we've seen the shares absolutely rocketing. Yesterday, the shares were up by 9.6%. Today, the shares were up by 23.6%. If we have a look at what we know, Link Energy coming out to uh, say that these two independent expert re uh, reports have um, have tried to estimate the resource that it has but the, I guess the nature of these independent reports uh, are often that they are commissioned or paid for by the company themselves usually when you usually you see some of these small cap companies coming out with these independent reports and evaluation of the resources which are overly optimistic now I'm not saying that link energy has paid for these reports I'm not sure of where um, uh, who's actually commissioned these reports, but I, I think they do have to be taken with a grain of salt. We have a look at Link Energy. It has been a difficult time. They do have a big resource. However, this is going to take time to develop, and it's actually going to be quite an expensive resource to get to as well. And the shares have been extremely volatile. I mean, the shares have traded as low as 50 cents and as high as $5. So there's been a massive range in terms of the share price. So this is a hugely volatile company. I guess over the last couple of days, we've seen some very positive media reports coming out over Link Energy and the, uh, I guess trying to value the resource of these that these independent valuers have um, put on the company. Um, but altogether, I think we've just seen irrational exuberance in the stock today when it's up by 23.6%. We'll probably see an ASX speeding fine coming through and the fact that the company hasn't really released any new information about its assets. It's just on the back of these independent reports as well as uh, the media reports that we're seeing coming through on the back of that. So Link Energy, a huge performance, uh, a pretty amazing performance 
performers. I guess in terms of the underlying business, some of the things that we have been watching is that we know there has been Russian interest in the uh, the uh, the gas to liquids technology that Link Energy has. So that's one of the things that we're watching, considering that I think the technology originally came from Ukraine. Um, so Link Energy, best performer of the day, amazing performance up by 23.6%.